Okay, so today we're going to talk about PIC simulation software and just the basics of a simulation and creating a simulation. So what PIC simulation software is, just to start out, is it's a software tool that allows you to simulate with a, um, a PLC. So in other words, you'd, you'd have your, your PLC, you'd have your PC running PIC simulation software, and then you would have a connection uh, between the PIX uh, PC and the PLC, exchanging I.O. data back and forth, uh, allowing PIX to then simulate uh, the I.O. that the PLC is going to be controlling. So allowing you to, on your desktop, test out your logic, your control logic that's going to be running in your, in your uh, PLC um, before uh, going to the factory floor. And that's the whole uh, premise of it, or basis of it. And uh, so we're just going to look at a, um, what we call the batch demo. Uh, today and that is uh, just a sample that comes along with the PIC simulation software. Uh, there is actually on our website as well a demo version of the PIC simulation software that you can download uh, for free and that uh, is uh, limited in some ways uh, but allows you to at least create a simulation and uh, get a feel for what PIX does. <coughs> Excuse me. So within PIC simulation software here uh, there is uh, a, a few areas, I guess is the best way to say it, that um, you use to build your simulation. And uh, in this case, uh, what you see on the screen here now is a device worksheet. So within PIX, there's uh, devices uh, uh, or device worksheets and then logic worksheets. And uh, the, the logic are just that. They have only logic on, the, on those worksheets uh, being ladder logic or ladder code. And then the devices themselves uh, are uh, devices that we've created uh, in the library or ones that you can create yourself uh, or you can even take the ones that are currently in the library and modify or customize those uh, to your needs. And so I'm hovering over here with my mouse right now a valve. Uh, that's just one of many devices that are in the library. There's a hopper scale over here on the right hand side, a mixer scale down here, and then a, a mixing blade or fan. Um, and so I'm going to, to uh, go over the left-hand side here and just show you, expand some of these out and show you uh, what's, what's in there. So, um, so these are uh, what we call templates or device templates. And so you can actually uh, edit those. You can see all the variables underneath each of those. Um, and once again, what that allows you to do is that allows you to, to if, it doesn't, if a device does not already do what you want it to do, it allows you to customize it to... Uh, to your needs. So say your valve or your motor um, has some different functionality than we've uh, customized into that device, uh, you can then uh, make it totally customized uh, to your needs. And the nice thing about that as well is that you know, you, there's the work the first time around, uh, however once you've done that work uh, then you can just keep reusing that and just save that, keep that in the library of your PIX devices and continue to reuse that uh, saving you time. 